I am Jose Manuel Garcia Lomas and Alan Perkins. In this new series of videos that we have already started, we develop something so essential in communication between human beings as oral expression techniques, also known at an international level as public speaking. In previous videos, we have already started the treatment of the way we talk, about how we say it, which is made up of two aspects already treated. One, how to use our voice with ten points treated, and two, our personal appearance with three points treated. Today, we enter into the development of the second vital component in the attention curve and our communication, the content, what we say with three important phases. First, the opening, our beginning. Second, the theme, which we deal with. Third, the closing, our end. These three phases, from a commercial point of view, are called the attention phase, the benefits phase, and the closing phase. Attention, benefits, and close. And something to insist on. Remember that famous phrase, nothing substitutes a deep preparation, or preparation is everything. We will have to plan in advance how to start in the introduction phase, pulling strongly on the attention curve, the attention. Carefully planning the presentation of our theme, the benefits, structuring this phase and the audiovisual media that we plan to use. And finally, also carefully plan how we are going to conclude, how we are going to close the closing of our presentation. Now, and facing our actions, both individually and in public, the question is, how overcome the state of nerve, tension, fear in front of our interlocutor or in front of a group? how to overcome the stage fry. It is quite common to feel tension, nervousness, prevention or fear in front of a group at the beginning of our speech. It is a natural feeling because we do not know who we are talking to, we do not know what the group's reaction will be, nor when the first objection will come out nor what it will be. In addition, the group studies us. We are going to give some general rules for overcoming the stage fright. First, the group doesn't notice more than 10% of the possible nervousness that you have. Second, you do not have to avoid it, you have to control it. In short term, what can we do? deep abdominal breathing, yogic breathing. At first look at people who look warm, friendly. Do not look at unpleasant face at first. They make us nervous. If we have a dry mouth, have a glass of water at hand. Be yourself. Write the first sentence with which we began the speech. Make good breaks and take advantage of them for deep abdominal breathing. If there are problems with our hand, you say pain at the beginning, but then leave it promptly. And in long term, what to do? Prepare well yourself for your presentation. Good knowledge of the subject. Train and train timing yourself with a clock and record yourself in video. 
And remember, nothing replaces a deep preparation. The objectives that the oratory pursues transmit, communicate, create interest in the group being accepted by them, break the psychological barrier that exists between the group and the speaker, make them feel what I feel. Therefore, we have certain similarities with an actor, we develop a role. Characteristics for a good exposition. A good performance or exposure to the group is not the objective in itself. A good performance should not distract the participants from the content of the expositions. Do not make a show. A good exposure should adapt to the group. You have to create interaction between the speaker and the group. The golden rule is do not talk to the group, but with the group. Rules for a good exposition. Make all the necessary efforts so that the group wants to listen to you and trust you. Speak naturally and spontaneously. Be yourself. Commit with yourself to what you are saying. Do not hesitate nor be too eclectic. Beware not to pontificate, not dogmatize. Never show lack of interest in what you are saying. I suggest the following system of self-evaluation about the content, the oral expression techniques, public speaking, the content, what we say. The first, the opening, our beginning. Where are the objectives of our presentation clearly defined? Did it have the right impact to capture attention? The second, the theme we are dealing with, A, B, C and D aspects. A, the structure. Did he stay on the subject? Were the stages presented in logical sequence? Was there a correct thread throughout the exposition of the theme? A red line? B, the exposition. How was our verbal fluency? Ability to find words and phrases and use them to communicate? Are the key points of the speech emphasized? Was the subject presentations consist and exact? Was the context technically correct? Do we reach the objectives? Was all the content of the report necessary? C. Visual aids. Did you use the appropriate aid? Did you use them conveniently? Did you use your person as a visual aid? And D. Contact with the group. Did you have a good contact with the group? Were you always audible? Did you avoid criticism or sarcasm? Was the group actively involved during the report? The third, the closer, our final. Was a summary made? Did the summary cover all the key points? Did you dedicate enough time to the summary? Was the follow-up clearly defined? With all this, we have covered the basic elements of the oral expression techniques, the public speaking. If you are interested in our videos, I suggest that you give a like and subscribe to our channel.